O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. The saints who toiled from place to place, spreading the gospel of God's grace, now in the heavenly homeland well, with Christ whom he they serve so well. Alert at thy command to go, and everywhere thy word to sow. They went, O oh Master, far and wide, eager but yet unsatisfied. Thine was the task they took in hand, thine their good news for every land. Thine was their power and thine again, their passion for the souls of men. You, are Lord, are close. Your ways are truth. I call with my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch the night to pawn your promise. In your love hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life for your decrees. Those who humbly and justly draw near, they are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close. Your commands are true. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come at the end of the ages. You, O Lord, are close. Your ways are truth. Lord, let your wisdom be with me to help me and to work with me. O God of my fathers and Lord of mercy, who have made all things by your word, and by your wisdom have formed man, to have dominion over the creatures you have made, and rule the world in holiness and righteousness, and pronounce judgment in uprightness of soul. Give me the wisdom that sits by your throne, and do not reject me from among your servants. For I am your slave, and the son of your maid servant, a man who is weak and short-lived, with little understanding of judgment and laws. For even if one is perfect among the sons of men, yet without the wisdom that comes from you, he will be regarded as nothing. With you is wisdom who knows your works and was present when you made the world, and who understands what is pleasing in your sight and what is right according to your commandments. Send her forth from the holy heavens, and from the throne of your glory send her, that she may be with me in toil, and that I may learn what is pleasing to you. For she knows and understands all things, and she will guide me wisely in my actions and guard me with her glory. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, let your wisdom be with me, to help me, and to work with me. The truth of the Lord will stand firm forever. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations, acclaim him, all you peoples. 
Strong is his love for us, is faithful forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come, at the end of the ages. The truth of the Lord will stand firm forever. Remember your leaders who preach the word of God to you, and as you reflect on the outcome of their lives, imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same today as he was yesterday, and as he will be forever. Do not let yourselves be led astray by all sorts of strange doctrines. I place watchmen on your towers, Jerusalem. I place watchmen on your towers, Jerusalem. They will never cease to tell of the name of the Lord by day and by night. I place watchmen on your towers, Jerusalem. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I place watchmen on your towers, Jerusalem. It is not you who speak. The Spirit of your Father speaks in you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham a father to grant us that free from fear and save from the hands of our foes we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God. He visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. It is not you who speak. The Spirit of your Father speaks in you. Christ the Good Shepherd laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise him with grateful hearts as we pray. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Christ our Lord and the holy pastors, you reveal your love for us. May we never be deprived of the care you show through them. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Through your sacred ministers, you are present in our midst as the shepherd of our souls. Never cease to guide us through their teaching and encouragement. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. And the saints who lead your people, you manifest your power of healing souls and bodies. Remain always with us to renew our lives in holiness. 
Lord, nourish the lives of your people. By the example of the saints, you instruct your faithful in the ways of wisdom and love. Through our pastors, help us grow to the full stature of perfection. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Almighty God and Father, you gave St. John news the wonderful grace of making known the inexhaustible riches of Christ. Help us by his example and teaching to grow in knowledge of you and live faithfully by the light of the gospel. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.